Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be doing a $350 gaming PC build. It's going to be really awesome, but first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, an online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. And if you're interested, use the link down below and buy the Windows 10 Pro activation using our code TB20 to get 20% off. All you have to do to activate Windows 10 license is buy the key by using code TB20 and then throw the Windows 10 key into your Windows 10 activation on the system you wish to install it in and boom, you have activated Windows 10 and you no longer have to look at that horrible watermark in the bottom right corner. So thanks again to GVG Mall for sponsoring this video. Let's get right into the video, shall we? All right, guys, so this is gonna be a $350 computer. Now, this is actually a upgrade of a computer we just built, our $250 Athlon 3000 GPC, which if you wanna see that video, hit the I in the top right corner. Wow, I actually did that right this time. Uh, but what we're gonna be doing is upgrading this PC with two things. One, a graphics card, our favorite, the RX 580, and then some good old RGB to make it look nice and pretty. So let's go ahead and talk about this system again for those who missed it, and then dive into the upgrade process, which is very simple, just slapping in a graphics card. So what we have here, guys, well, this is a $250 all brand new parts gaming PC, which is kind of unheard of in a way because all new parts. Well, we have an Athlon 3000G, we have eight gigs of T4 Force RGB RAM, a B450M board, a smart 500 watt from Thermal Take, all inside of this deep cold matrix case. So to answer a couple of the questions that we actually had in the last video in the comment section, one was, why not go with an A320 to save some money? Well, I mean, that is a viable option, you could do it, but you're only gonna save about 10 to $15 because this board right here you can get for like 60 bucks on sale, and the A320 you can get for maybe like 55. So at that rate, you might as well go B450 because at that rate, you, the ceiling is unlimited. You can upgrade all kinds of different ways. The ceiling is much higher with the B450 because you can actually go with like a Ryzen 7, honestly. I mean, you could go like with a freaking 3600, 3700 if you really wanted to. And another thing too is of course you can actually overclock, which we did with this. We overclocked this 3000G and it works pretty well and you can put a bigger cooler on it. Honestly, there's just so many things you could talk about, but we're not gonna waste y'all's time. So the other thing too is a lot of people said, why not go with the pre-built and basically have a better like out of the box system? Well, if you're gonna go with a pre-built that's like all new parts, I mean, you're probably gonna spend about $400 in the build to get a similar processor um, and motherboard and all that, which isn't gonna be upgradable really. And you're only gonna be able to upgrade just every so often to like nothing major. I mean, maybe put in a graphics card and that's about it. So with this one here, like I said, the ceiling's pretty much unlimited. We're gonna be putting an RX 580 in it. Really, if you wanted to though, you could go with like Ryzen 7, you could put a 2060, a 2070 in this. This thing has plenty of room for expandability and upgrades and the power supply can handle that stuff more than well. More than, uh, more well than, enough. More well, than. well enough, well enough. <laughs> So on that note, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, slap this RX 580, our favorite card, into this PC build, boot it up, benchmark it, and see how this little Athlon can handle a very popular uh, mid-range card. So let's get right into it, shall we? Okay guys, uh, we are getting ready to install this 580 from SI, which is a great card, but we got a wee bit of a problem. Um, right here, you can tell that uh, it doesn't fit. So um, we're gonna leave in the description some 580s that are a little bit shorter. Uh, so if you're looking at like the actual length and you're doing this build, be sure to go with a shorter version of the 580. We are probably gonna have to drill this out because it uses rivets on this actual hard drive cage. So that's not gonna be pretty, but it's gonna be what we're gonna have to do. Um, so yeah, just use the 580 down below. Don't use this MSI one in this case because unfortunately it just doesn't fit. There's also a lot of 1060s out there that are single fan cards and they perform similarly to a RX 580. If you get like a six gig version, uh, you'll be paying a little bit more most likely, but those are normally smaller cards and you probably wouldn't have an issue with uh, installing it in this case. So um, yeah, yay. We're gonna go ahead and try to make this work.
Goodbye, you disturbing fiend. Alright guys, now that we have the PC upgraded, let's talk about those benchmarks real quick. Now pairing an RX 580 with an Athlon 3000G is definitely not ideal, but we wanted to see exactly how far we could push this little Athlon with a modern graphics card like the RX 580, which would pair very nicely with a normal quad-core processor. But does the architectural improvements of the 3000G make it any better than just its two-core four-threaded self? Well, not really. Uh, some of the benchmarks show that this thing is very CPU bound. In games like Fortnite, we really see a CPU bottleneck where we're getting, well, decent FPS, a vast improvement over the previous setup before we added the graphics card, but still there is a CPU bottleneck. And the same thing goes for games like CSGO and Rainbow Six. Yes, you can definitely run these games without any problems. You'll get very respectable frame rates and you'll be able to get a decent result, but you definitely wanna keep in mind if you're planning on building this system from scratch, you might just want to go ahead and spend the extra money to get the 2200G instead of the Athlon 3000G. Now, as we mentioned in the previous video where we made this PC for $250, the concept of this computer is upgradability. You would originally build this PC for $250 and then eventually slowly upgrade it. Even the processor will be upgraded at some point, but what it is is a system that is brand spanking new, no used parts that allow you to dive into, well, basic gaming and basic computing tasks, but have a platform that you could upgrade on all the way up to a Ryzen 7 if you wanted to. And just by showing the benchmark numbers with that Athlon, you can get some very respectable numbers and then all you have to do is let's say upgrade the processor to a 2600 and boom you have yourself a $500 plus gaming PC that we built on the channel that will perform very well at 1080p high settings and pretty much anything you want to play go with a 3600 you could go with an even better graphics card the sky is the limit as we mentioned with this PC and honestly for the results that we got for the price of this PC build we're very impressed and the fact that this is all new parts is even better so how about we go ahead and wrap this video up real quick all right guys, so as you can tell from the benchmarks, this PC performed pretty well. The uh, Athlon actually held its own in most games that we tested with the RX 580. And really the next best upgrade we recommend is honestly just a better CPU. You can go first gen, second gen, or even third gen. Something as simple as like a 3400G or even a 3600, if you wanna go balls to the wall, then simple upgrades, cheap to do, and you will probably get like double or triple the performance for a very small cost. So really, if you're looking to build this outright, like right now, it might be better off for you to go with like a Ryzen 3 2200G or even a 1200 just to start right now. But if you do have this system as a $250 PC and you followed our guide and you're looking to upgrade it, we would recommend go ahead and doing this. You could get good performance now and then you can upgrade the CPU later to get even more performance. And really the system is just great for that upgradability. And that's why we went with the parts that we did um, and we're very happy with it. So as always, don't forget to use the links down below if you wanna actually build this use because those parts do help us out. And don't also forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Athlon. It's our new thing now. <laughs> yeah, dude. Ninjas now. We're ninjas. Ninja star.